Hey, it's Anthony with Land Title. I came to bring you the update for Erie, Colorado today, and this is January of 2022. So lots of interesting stuff going on, major market appreciation. I mean, their housing prices in Erie are just soaring. You can see here, we're at $846,000, 27% above where we were last year, and absolutely the banner mark for the highest average sales price in Erie history. Well, that shouldn't surprise anyone because it's gonna to continue to rise. You can see year over year over year, we've had some incredible appreciation in this marketplace. It's a very desirable place to live. You can still get a lot of house for your money, even if it is getting more expensive. The median's at 716, so there's a pretty big gap there between the average and the median, which means there's a pretty healthy luxury market in Erie, right? There's also a lot of homes that have been around for a while and they're healthily appreciating, um, look at that, 16% over this time last year. So nothing to be concerned about, but that is definitely what we're experiencing across all of Boulder County and definitely into that part of Weld County. Now the condo price is gonna bounce all over the place. The condos and townhouses out in Erie are just not very common, right? They're few and far between, but expect them to appreciate as well. 45% probably not. 56% up in median, probably not. But there's not enough real sales really there to make a lot of sense of. But what you can tell if you look at these graphs is year over year over year, they're continuing to get more and more expensive. It is gonna to continue to appreciate because there's just not enough homes in the area. So this is a product that would be excellent to see Erie build more of because it is a little bit more affordable. Are we gonna see it? Probably not because that is not really the product type that the city of Erie has been building. Now, if you look here at average sales price or average price per square foot, that average price per square foot in single family detached is the cheapest in Boulder County. $223 per square foot is so affordable. That is not going to stay that low forever. It is gonna to continue to rise just like you saw again last year. And the condo prices are the same way, right? 257 a square foot, absolutely the cheapest in all of Boulder County and they are going to continue to rise quickly. So that is what's putting a lot of pressure on this market along with many other things. Number one, the supply shortage is so incredible. 17 active listings, the lowest again that we've seen in a very long time um, in the Erie market. And it's a decent sized market now. There's a lot of homes out there and we're talking 17. This is an extreme, extreme seller's market. The new listings coming on the market are much higher. You know, we have a very, very small amount of inventory, but those new listings actually are coming on about the same pace as last year. So keep your head up if you're looking to purchase in this marketplace just keep after it right it definitely can happen there's a lot of buyers in the market though we look at the demand side those pending listings are the same exact as the new listings coming on the market we're at 0.3 months of inventory which is about a week and a week of inventory means things are coming on and off the market as quick as they happen so you really got to be on top of it this year if we're going to be shopping in markets anywhere in boulder county but specifically erie you really need to be actively looking every single day, which really just makes it difficult, but that's the environment we're in. And it's not going to slow down anytime soon because of the supply shortage. Here's a big problem. The, the average days in the MLS are now down to 18. This is active to sold in 18 days. So lots of people are having to use alternative lending products. That's why you're seeing the timeline condense, um, but they are available out there for you, all your lending partners and all your lenders um, are definitely kind of solving problems as they come along. That's making your offers more competitive, but it's making all of this move much, much quicker. If you look at the percentage close price to list price, this is actually one of the lowest in the county right now at 100.4%. There are still a lot of bidding wars taking place in Erie, but they're not as bad as some of the other places. The city of Boulder's way higher. If you look into Broomfield, it's way higher. If you look into even, you know, Niwot or Lafayette or whatever, a lot of these smaller markets have way higher bidding wars already in January, the slowest month of the year for real estate than, than they've had in many years past. So keep your eye on this. It's going to be skyrocketing very soon and the bidding wars will just get worse all the way through the springtime. So definitely hang in there if you're a buyer. And if you're a seller, this is an excellent time to take advantage of the seller's market. If you have any questions, I'm Anthony at Land Title. Catch you in the next video.